Welcome to the Tivoli Provisioning Manager Sarbanes-Oxley Act Compliance Demonstration. Tivoli Provisioning Manager provides a report you can generate to determine which computers in your organization are not compliant with SOX policies. Determine what policies you need in your organization to be compliant with the SOX standard and apply those policies to the group of machines to be checked for compliance. TPM has predefined SOX compliance groups with a predefined check. Windows Antivirus, Windows Screensaver, Power On Password, and Windows User Password. In this scenario, we will demonstrate how to customize the compliance checks for a SOX group, run the compliance report, and perform remediation. The user has to generate a report request page before running the SOX compliance reports. Also, the user must install the Tivoli Common Agent on the endpoint computers. Step 1. First, navigate to the Groups page. Select the SOX group and click on it. Click on the Add Members to add the computers on which you want to check compliance. In our case, we add two additional computers. Step 2. In the next step, we remove two of the predefined compliance checks. We do so by going to the SOX group again, under the Compliance tab, and removing the compliance checks that are not needed. Step 3. We will add some more compliance checks. This way, we are customizing the content of the security checks we want to check compliance for. In our case, we add the Windows Authorized Guest Access check and the Windows Firewall compliance check. Step 4. We will run the scan and check on the group to determine which computers are compliant with their security policies. To do so, select the Run Scan and Check option from the Compliance tab of the computer group. We monitor the task until it is successful, then return to the Compliance tab and refresh the page. Step 5. Here we will generate the SOX compliance report. Remember that you need to have generated the report page in advance. From the group drop-down menu, select Run Report. Select the predefined report and click on it. Select the SOX group and submit the task. The compliance report shows the details of all the computers and their compliance status. Step 6. We will remediate the non-compliance by approving the recommendations per compliance check. Alternatively, if you want to approve all of them, you can go to the Recommendations tab. In our particular scenario, we've decided to implement one of the recommendations and ignore the rest in order to simulate the manual remediation. From the Recommendations tab, we select to ignore the rest of the recommendations. Search for all the open recommendations, filter, and then select to ignore all of them. Document the reason for ignoring them. Select to implement the one outstanding recommendation and next we proceed to the task tracking page to see the status of the task. After the remediation task is complete, we will run the check again. This will give us an updated status after implementing the recommendation.
Finally, we run the SOX report again to ensure that the changes are reflected and the computers are listed in a compliant state.